Okay, so this equation is easy to solve, okay? And let's take a look at my little title here. It says every algebra student should also find this equation easy to solve, but uh, we'll see how well uh, your algebra skills are in this current moment in time. But the equation is parentheses x plus one parentheses squared is equal to 25. And what we wanna do here is solve for x. So if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second, and then I will explain the solution in a very easy to understand way. But this is a, a type of an equation that you must master uh, to be successful in algebra. This is extremely important stuff. But uh, I'll get to all of this in just one moment. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and uh, I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go and take a look at the answer. Again, parentheses x plus 1 and parentheses squared is equal to 25. And if you feel like you want to use a calculator for this problem, you do not need it, uh, but you're welcome to use one. Let's go and take a look at the answer. The answer is x is equal to 4 and negative 6. There's actually two solutions to this equation. Okay, so how did you do? Well, if you got this right, that is fantastic. Let's go ahead and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus A 100% and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are an expert, certified professional in solving basic quadratic equations. Okay, and that's what this is. It's a quadratic equation and it's a uh, kind of a basic type of a quadratic equation. There are certainly much more challenging types of uh, quadratic equations. I'll speak a little bit more about that in a second. But uh, if you got this right, that is fantastic. And uh, that's what we're going to be talking about in this particular video is quadratic equations. So if you never heard of quadratic equations and you're taking algebra, well, uh, this is a huge, huge topic. Uh, typically, this takes up at least one chapter, and you're going to be dealing with quadratic equations, um, you know, from this point forward. So in other words, if you, well, let me kind of break things down here. Uh, for most uh, math courses, if you're in pre-algebra, you typically don't start learning about quadratic equations. But in Algebra 1, quadratic equations are extremely big part of that course. And then as you can uh, continue on in math, Algebra 2, College Algebra, Pre-Calculus, you're just going to be dealing with these things on and on and on, right? So this is a very, very important stuff. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at um, uh, the problem again. And as I indicated, the first thing is, in algebra, you deal with all different sorts of equations, okay? There's linear equations, systems of equations, exponential equations, logarithmic equations, radical, rational, da, da, da. I can go on and on and on, right? So the first thing is when we see an, equ uh, an equation, you need to kind of recognize it for what it is, okay? And you'll just, uh, un you know, as you study these various types of equations, you'll see the patterns and you'll be able to recognize it, right? So when you look at an equation, you have to ask yourself, hey, what am I dealing with here? Well, in this case, hopefully, you uh, can recognize, oh, I'm dealing with a quadratic equation, right? And a quad, this word quadratic basically means a polynomial of degree two. So in other words, if I take this x plus one and I square it, so in other words, x plus one times x plus one, I'm gonna end up with a polynomial that's x squared, okay? We call this a second degree polynomial. So if I really wanted to be technical, about this, I can say solve the second degree polynomial equation, find all its zeros, roots, and solutions. You know, we don't need to kind of make this all, you know, dramatic and technically confusing, but you should know these words, okay? This is a polynomial and it is a second degree, i.e. its power is, its highest power is two, okay? But again, if you didn't recognize this um, as a, a quadratic equation, you will with time. Okay, so, but what if I told you, hey, solve this quadratic equation? And then, then I'm basically telling you that's what we're dealing with. So when you uh, are trying to solve quadratic equations, you need to put your quadratic equations thinking cap on, and here it is right here. And you might be saying, well, what is this, Mr. YouTube Math Man? Well, this should be your quadratic equations thinking cap. So uh, when you are looking at, an, uh, looking at a uh, quadratic equation, 
here's the things that you want to be thinking about, okay? So the first thing is every quadratic equation will have two solutions, okay? Absolutely two solutions. These can be real number solutions or imaginary solutions or complex number solutions. That's, you know, uh, for kind of separate discussion for now, uh, you know, outside of this video. But basically, you just need to know that every single quadratic equation will have two solutions like this particular one. I did show you the answer. We uh, have two solutions. Now, what are the tools, methods, or techniques that we can uh, employ to solve quadratic equations? Well, we have um, various uh, kind of tools at our disposal. The first one is sometimes you can, it all depends on how the quadratic equation is written, uh, you know, the kind of the uh, form of it. But sometimes we can take the square root of both sides. Okay, and that's awesome. Sometimes we can factor uh, to solve. Okay, but if we can't do these techniques, and uh, you can't always do these techniques, you can solve every single quadratic equation by something called the quadratic formula. Okay, this is super important. And then there's another cool technique, which is kind of like the long version of the quadratic formula, and that is called completing the square. Okay, so all of these things here you must know how to do uh, in most algebra courses, or certainly this, this, and this, and well, you know, all of these things, okay, even completing the square. Now, I will say one thing about completing the square. This is not really uh, kind of a, a fully practical method that we use to solve quadratic equations. Typically, you're going to use a uh, uh, these three methods here, okay, taking the square root of both sides, factoring, and the quadratic formula, okay? All right, so big, big topic. Again, this is why this is typically one full chapter at least in most algebra courses, and you'll see this over and over again. All right, so in this particular problem, uh, what we want to do is look at the problem, and I'll show you it in one second, and think about which one of these things can I use. Again, you're going to have to practice and know all these techniques, uh, but let's go ahead and get to the actual solution. But before we actually do that, I'm going to actually ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you do that, uh, make sure you hit that notification button. This has a tremendous positive impact on my YouTube channel. Okay, this is the fuel that keeps me going. But, eh, you know, even if, if you didn't subscribe, I'd still be teaching, uh, you know, every day. I'm pretty much putting um, videos on YouTube because I'm obsessed with teaching mathematics. I do not like it when people struggle in math and, and really don't need to struggle. Okay, pretty much 99% of uh, folks out there can do well in math. The big problem in my um, years of experience is I think, um, well, a big problem, right? Not, it's not the only problem, is that math is not taught in kind of an easy to understand way. Oftentimes it's taught uh, in a kind of over technical manner. So what I like to try to do is teach math in a super clear and understandable way. But anyways, uh, if you do subscribe, I kind of look at that as I gained a new student. All right, let's move forward and take a look at this problem. Okay, so here it is. Uh, we have x plus one squared is equal to 25. Uh, we'll recognize this as a quadratic equation. So we're thinking about our tools. Okay, we're like, all right, what should I do here? Can I take the square root of both sides, or do I need to factor, or should I try to factor, or do I need to use the quadratic formula to solve? Well, in this particular situation, uh, you can take the square root of both sides. It's the, by far the easiest method to use to solve this equation. So before we actually solve this, x plus one squared is equal to 25, Let's just uh, um, kind of um, look at an easier version of this problem. We'll get rid of this plus one part and just look at x squared is equal to 25, just so we can kind of review how to take the square root of both sides. So some number squared is equal to 25. How do we get to x if we have x squared? Easy, we simply take the square root of both sides. So the square root of x squared is x, and that's what I'm looking to solve for. And the square root of 25 we're going to not just have the principal square root, which is positive five, we're also going to have negative five, because negative five times negative five gives us 25, and five times five gives, also gives us uh, back to 25. So again, remember, we have uh, two solutions always with quadratic equations, and here they are. So this is a pretty typical way of writing solutions, x is equal to positive negative five, but really what that's saying is that one solution is a positive five, and the other solution is a negative five, okay? All right, so if you understand this, then basically we're gonna be doing the same thing here. And let's go ahead and get into uh, the actual solution right now. Okay, so we're like, all right, this is quadratic equation. Oh, this is an opportunity to take the square root of both sides. One more thing here 
And I just want you to, uh, to see when you can take the square root of both sides. If you look here, we have something squared is equal to a number. Okay, so if you see something in algebra, you have something squared is equal to a number. That is a candidate uh, to uh, basically uh, take the square root of both sides. Okay, typically with the quadratic equation, when you have this scenario, they're like, oh, yeah, I could just take the square root of both sides and solve. And that's exactly what we're going to do. All right, so let's go ahead and actually do this. We'll take the square root of both sides. So the square root of x plus 1 squared is just going to be x plus 1. Okay, so anything, when you have something squared and you take the square root of it, it's just going to be this thing that's being squared. So that's going to be x plus 1 is equal to the square root of 25, which, of course, is positive and negative 5. So you're looking at this. You're like, all right, what do we do here? Well, we want to break this up into two equations. So x plus 1 is equal to both a positive 5, and x plus 1 is also equal to negative 5. So we're going to break these up into two separate equations and solve. So here I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides of the equation. I get x is equal to 4. And here I'll subtract 1 from both sides of the equation. I get x is equal to negative 6. And these are our two respective solutions for this quadratic equation. Okay, so again, you know, what I could have done here is just like, here is how you do this problem. You know, I could do this problem like in, you know, 17.3 seconds and be like, uh, hopefully you understood Right. Good luck with your, you know, your math. <laughs> That's not what I'm trying to do here. I am trying to teach you something that can go into your long-term memory. I'm trying to get you to comprehend the bigger picture. Okay, because that's actually how you learn stuff. If you try to take shortcuts and just be like, yeah, just show me how to do this problem. You know, just you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, just show me the solution. Da, da 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 da. I can show you the steps, but all you're trying to do is, you know, really look for patterns. Okay, so you really need to kind of don't look for patterns as much as look for understanding. Okay, because that's the way all this stuff is really going to make sense. Okay, so if you need help with uh, quadratic equations or algebra, I'm going to leave uh, uh, links to my courses, Algebra 1, Algebra 2, Pre-Calculus, Pre-Algebra. Uh, you'll find those in the description. That's my best full instruction. Okay, That's like my you know, uh, best work, if you will. But uh, also, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel that can help you out as well. But uh, just make sure you practice, because if you don't practice, you're not going to gain you know, uh, this skill for yourself. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.